Hi, this is Jenny, average homeschool mom. It's midnight. I tried to make this video like three times a day and I kept getting interrupted. So anyway, I guess this is the time where we make videos. Midnight. Um, I wanted to share my curriculum choices for my 10th grader coming up in the fall. I have a son, he's 15. I'm excited about this next year. High school's a little scary, but um, we survived one year, so it's going to be a busy year for him. But I'm excited because we have a great homeschool co-op, and he'll be taking quite a few of his classes there, and the other ones are online classes, so I won't have to do too much except stay on him about getting his work done. So I'll start with the co-op classes. He's going to be taking history and English and literature. The curriculum that we're going to be using for that is Not Grass, American History. We used the world history last year and we were happy with it. So we're going to use it again. So those are both at co-op and then another thing at co-op is science. Yay! In biology, he's going to be using Apologia. We did physical science last year, which is a little behind the schedule that Apologia recommends, but he's not a big science guy, so anyway, we're just going to do the required things that he needs um, for high school science not go crazy things he doesn't need. He wants to go to Bible college and his goal right now is to be a music minister so yeah I don't think he needs a lot of science for that. History, English and literature, science. Uh, the next thing he'll do at class day he'll have a dance class. They're teaching um, hip-hop and salsa this year so that'll be fun. And he'll also be taking a long distance running class, which meets on a different day, but um, co-ops once a week, but the long distance running will be on a different day of the week. So that'll give him a lot of physical activity between that and dance class. And plus he just runs around a lot. Anyway, he likes to go walk. He volunteers at the library. He walks there. He walks around the block. He'll go for a run. He does exercises in the backyard. So he's very active. And then at home, he'll be doing geometry using Alex. It's an online subscription um, math course that he used for algebra this past year. Um, so we'll be using that again for geometry. And I also signed him up for an online Greek course because he wants to go to Bible college and he wants to learn Greek. So I did sign him up for that. He also takes voice lessons. Oh, and our co-op also has a drama club, so he'll be part of that. They put on two productions, big productions, every year. So he's going to be busy, and I'm not going to have to teach him too much. I am one of the teachers for history at co-op, so I'll be doing that. But it, it's pretty, the way Not Grass is laid out makes it fairly easy. And I think that's about it for his classes. That'll that'll keep him good and busy. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about any of those. I will put the links below. And thank you for watching.